Folding wings, storing, and residential garages, aluminum structures assembling with basic tools, wood and fabric traditions delivering modern performance, twin engine aircraft with 13-foot wingspan. These aircraft prove that building and flying mini aircraft in your garage isn't dream but achievable reality when choosing right projects. Mini Garage Aircraft Top favorites to build and fly. French eccentricity birthed the world's smallest twin engine manned aircraft when Michel Colomban refused accepting that bimotors demanded massive size and complexity. The MC 15 Cree Cree, constructed from 2024 T3 aluminum alloy through traditional riveting techniques, demonstrated that garage workshops could produce aircraft defying conventional engineering assumptions about minimum viable dimensions. 700 through 900 construction hours transformed metal sheets into flying machine spanning nearly 12.8 through 13 feet wingspan, weighing 170 through 180 pounds empty, yet carrying pilots safely through maneuvers that terrified observers. Twin power plants producing 15 through 20 horsepower each seemed laughably inadequate, until pilots discovered combined output pushed maximum takeoff weight of 364 through 375 pounds to cruise speeds approaching 120 through 135 miles per hour. Modern electric conversions eliminated fuel systems entirely, creating silent operations that shocked airport communities accustomed to noise complaints dominating conversations. Fuel burning variants consume merely 2.5 through 3.5 gallons per hour combined, enabling extended flights on budgets that single seat ultralights couldn't match economically, despite burning similar total fuel. Takeoff distances shrinking to 400 through 600 feet on hard surfaces meant operations from strips that conventional wisdom declared too short for fixed wing aircraft, let alone twins requiring coordination between power plants. Stall speeds hovering around 40 through 45 miles per hour provided safety margins that beginner pilots appreciated while learning twin engine management techniques usually reserved for commercial multi-engine ratings. The aluminum leaf spring landing gear absorbed landings that would destroy more complex systems, proving simplicity delivered reliability that sophistication couldn't guarantee consistently. The MC-15 proved that miniaturization didn't compromise capability when engineering discipline refused accepting that bigger automatically meant better for all missions. Removable wings enabled trailer transport and garage storage without expensive hangar rent devouring operational budgets monthly. Electric variants demonstrated that future belonged to pilots willing to embrace technologies that traditionalists dismissed as impossible dreams rather than inevitable evolution. Yet aluminum construction represented merely one path toward affordable flight. Wood and composite hybrids were demonstrating that traditional materials could deliver modern performance when properly engineered. Slovakian engineering synthesized centuries of European woodworking tradition with contemporary composite techniques when SD planes created monoplane that proved spruce and plywood could compete against aluminum and composites economically. The SD, one minisport, combined all wood primary structure with composite fairings and aluminum hardware, delivering kits and plans that guided builders through construction methods their grandfathers would recognize while achieving performance that shocked modern pilots. 529 through 600 pounds. Maximum takeoff weight included pilot, fuel, and minimal baggage, creating aircraft that operated economically while maintaining respectable performance envelopes. V-twin and boxer engines, spanning 28 through 50 horsepower, provided adequate thrust when matched with efficient aerodynamics that aluminum competitors couldn't replicate without significant weight penalties. Cruise speeds, reaching 100 through 120 miles per hour, satisfied cross-country ambitions. While stall characteristics settling around 35, through 39 miles per hour forgave technique lapses that punished less benign designs mercilessly. Construction. Consuming 600 through 900 hours from kits, extending beyond 1,000 hours for plans builders, created education extending far beyond mere assembly into understanding aeronautical engineering fundamentals that factory aircraft owners never developed. Wood construction techniques taught patience and precision that composite and metal alternatives couldn't replicate. Mistakes in wood showed immediately while providing straightforward correction paths that exotic materials complicated unnecessarily. European LAA and ultralight certifications combined with American experimental approvals demonstrated international recognition of design quality that transcended national boundaries and regulatory philosophies. Fuel consumption barely exceeding two through three gallons per hour enabled flying budgets that rivaled ground transportation costs when calculated honestly including all expenses, rather than merely direct operating costs that advertisements quoted misleadingly. Takeoff distances contained within 400 through 600 feet meant operations from grass strips and private properties where pavement remained luxury rather than necessity. Yet wood construction demanded environmental protection that aluminum tolerated more forgivingly. 
Metal advocates were preparing responses demonstrating that modern alloys could simplify construction while maintaining cost advantages. Maury Hummel revolutionized affordable single-seat aviation when he proved that Volkswagen automotive engines could power respectable aircraft performance without requiring exotic conversions or expensive certifications that priced weekend warriors out of participation. The Hummel H5, constructed entirely from 6061 T6 aluminum alloy using solid and pulled rivets, demonstrated that laser-cut parts and extruded spars simplified construction while maintaining structural integrity that traditionally built aircraft achieved through more complex methods. Modular kits separating wings, fuselage, and empennage enabled builders tackling projects incrementally rather than facing overwhelming complexity that discouraged completion. The Hummel 2180 Volkswagen conversion producing 85 horsepower provided power plant that automotive mechanics understood intimately, eliminating mystique surrounding certified aircraft engines that required specialized knowledge and expensive annual inspections. Maximum takeoff weight, reaching 620 through 650 pounds, included pilot and fuel creating aircraft that operated under sport pilot rules without requiring medical certificates that grounded aging aviators prematurely. Empty weights settling around 340 through 380 pounds demonstrated efficiency that heavier competitors couldn't match without significantly higher thrust requirements, increasing fuel consumption and operational expenses. Cruise speeds approaching 115 through 125 miles per hour satisfied regional travel ambitions while never exceeding 160 miles per hour maximum demonstrated speed, creating safety margins that insurance underwriters appreciated through reasonable premiums. Range extending 350 through 400 nautical miles. On 12 through 14 gallons, total fuel capacity enabled trips that converted what-if dreams into actual weekend adventures, exploring regions that ground transportation made tedious rather than enjoyable. Construction. Consuming 700 through 900 hours from kits, extending beyond 1,000 hours for plans builders, created education and metalworking fundamentals that transferred into countless other projects and hobbies that benefited from understanding how aluminum behaved under stress and forming. Conventional tailwheel gear taught ground handling skills that tricycle configurations masked through inherent stability that prevented pilots from developing proper rudder coordination and crosswind techniques. Yet all metal construction represented merely one philosophy. Proven designs were demonstrating that traditional methods using materials that predated aluminum could deliver modern capability when engineering discipline refused, accepting that newer automatically meant superior for all applications and missions. David Thatcher created single-seat sport plane that honored traditional construction methods while incorporating an ACA airfoil optimization that modern computers couldn't improve significantly despite decades of aerodynamic research and computational fluid dynamics advances. The Thatcher CX-4, built entirely from Alclad, 6061 and 2024 aluminum through conventional sheet metal and frame riveting techniques, provided builders with comprehensive documentation that assumed zero prior aircraft construction experience, yet guided them toward professional results that inspection authorities approved consistently. Sectioned kits enabled incremental purchasing that matched budget constraints, rather than requiring massive upfront investments that prevented many from starting projects. Cruise performance, reaching 120 through 140 miles per hour depending on propeller selection and installation optimization, satisfied travel ambitions without demanding excessive power that increased fuel consumption beyond budgets that weekend flying could justify economically. Stall speeds settling around 45 through 50 miles per hour combined with 180 miles per hour never exceed speeds created operational envelopes that forgave technique lapses while preventing speeds that structural limits couldn't tolerate safely. Conventional landing gear taught piloting fundamentals that tricycle configurations masked through inherent directional stability that prevented proper rudder coordination development and crosswind landing techniques that separated competent pilots from merely licensed individuals. Construction. Consuming 700 through 900 hours created education in aircraft systems and aeronautical decision making that factory aircraft ownership never provided through passive consumption rather than active learning and problem solving. Yet metal construction demanded tools and skills that not all builders possessed. Fabric and tube advocates were demonstrating that folding wings and simplified assembly could democratize aviation even further through accessibility that rigid structures couldn't match. Sonex aircraft revolutionized garage storage when they engineered folding wings that transformed hangar requirements from expensive monthly rent into residential garage space that owners already possessed and paid for regardless of aircraft ownership. The Sonics Onyx, constructed entirely from 6061 T6 aluminum alloy, 
using laser-cut matched hole precision that eliminated drilling errors plaguing traditional construction, demonstrated that modern manufacturing could simplify home building while maintaining structural integrity that conventional methods achieved through more labor-intensive processes. 700 through 1,000 construction hours created single-seat light sport or experimental aircraft that maximum takeoff weights held near 850 pounds. Aero V80 horsepower engines provided standard power plants that builders understood fundamentally, while optional Jabiru 2200 producing 85 horsepower, or Rotax 912, UL variants spanning 80 through 100 horsepower offered flexibility matching performance priorities and budget constraints that varied dramatically between individual builders. Cruise speeds ranging 130 through 155 miles per hour depending on power plant. Selection satisfied cross-country ambitions, while stall characteristics settling around 45 through 50 miles per hour forgave technique lapses that punished less benign designs. Sonex factory workshops and active community provided support networks that isolated builders appreciated when construction challenges exceeded documentation clarity, proving that successful home-built programs required social infrastructure supporting it technical excellence. Yet aluminum precision represented merely one path toward accessible flight. Ultralight simplicity was demonstrating that even faster construction and lower costs remained achievable when designers stripped away everything non-essential. Polish engineering simplified ultralight construction when Hyperlight created tube and aluminum framework that bolted and riveted together using techniques that motorcycle mechanics understood intuitively without requiring specialized aircraft knowledge that intimidated potential builders. The Hyperlight S NS8 meeting part 1, 03 ultralight regulations in numerous configurations demonstrated that 250 through 280 pounds empty weight could carry pilots safely through flight envelopes that heavier aircraft couldn't access economically or operationally. Maximum takeoff weights reaching 500 through 550 pounds included fuel enabling flights that recreational aviation demanded without complexity that discouraged participation through intimidation and expense. Rotax 4, 47, 503, and 582 engines producing 40 through 65 horsepower provided power plants that two-stroke enthusiasts maintained confidently using skills developed through snowmobile and personal watercraft experience rather than requiring aircraft-specific knowledge that created barriers, preventing mechanically capable individuals from aviation participation. Cruise speeds settling around 55 through 75 knots satisfied local recreational flying without pretending to compete against cross-country machines that cost exponentially more while delivering marginal practical advantages for missions that never extended beyond 100-mile radius operations that defined most recreational flying patterns honestly. Construction consuming only 400 through 500 hours created accessibility that ambitious builders completed within single year of weekend work, contrasting dramatically against multi-year projects that discouraged completion. Yet Polish simplicity wasn't alone in democratizing ultralight construction. American pioneers were proving that push-pull tube controls and forgiving handling could make first flights less terrifying for builders who'd never flown anything they constructed themselves. CGS Aviation pioneered push-pull tube controls when ultralight manufacturers relied on cable systems that stretched and required constant adjustment that frustrated pilots seeking predictable handling characteristics that cable designs couldn't deliver consistently. The CGS Hawk, constructed from tubular aluminum framework with bolted connections and fabric covering spanning multiple variants from classic through arrow and two-place configurations, demonstrated that simplicity could deliver reliability that complexity promised, but rarely achieved across diverse operating conditions and pilot skill levels. Part 1. Zero, 03. Compliant single-seat configurations maintained 250 through 300 pounds empty weight, while maximum takeoff weights reached 600 through 750 pounds, depending on specific variant selected. Rotax 447 and 503 engines producing 40 through 65 horsepower, along with contemporary hearth and Polini alternatives, provided power plants that two-stroke mechanics understood fundamentally without requiring aircraft-specific knowledge that created artificial barriers, preventing participation from mechanically capable individuals who lacked formal aviation maintenance training. Cruise speeds settling around 55 through 70 knots satisfied recreational flying missions without pretending to compete against cross-country machines that operational realities rarely justified for weekend warriors flying primarily within 100-mile radius from home airports that defined honest usage patterns rather than aspirational marketing claims that advertisements promoted misleadingly. Stall characteristics dropping to 27 through 32 knots combined with takeoff distances consuming merely 200 through 300 feet enabled operations from grass strips and private properties where conventional aircraft demanded extensive runway preparation that costs and regulations often prohibited practically. 
Generous washout and wing design provided benign stall behavior that forgave technique lapses, while fiber composite main gear absorbed landing impacts that rigid systems transmitted destructively into airframes and pilot spines repeatedly. Yet ultralight simplicity represented merely one end of the spectrum. Hybrid construction advocates were demonstrating that wood and composites could deliver speeds that aluminum ultralights couldn't approach without dramatically higher power requirements. Ken Rand challenged conventional wisdom when he proved that hybrid wood composite construction could deliver speeds that aluminum aircraft couldn't match without significantly higher power requirements that fuel consumption and operational costs made prohibitive for recreational flying budgets. The KR-2S combining spruce and plywood primary structure with fiberglass epoxy skins created two-place aircraft where maximum takeoff weights, reaching 900 through 1,000 pounds, enabled pilot plus passenger flights that social flying demanded rather than solo operations that limited aviation's appeal for couples and families wanting to share experiences together. Construction consuming 1,200 through 1,500 hours due to lamination and finishing requirements represented investment that speed enthusiasts accepted willingly for performance that certified aircraft couldn't approach economically. Volkswagen 2180 through 20, 276, Conversions, producing 70 through 80 horsepower. Corvair 2700 through 3000 cubic centimeter variants, delivering 100 through 120 horsepower. And Jabiru 2200 or 3300 options provided flexibility that builders matched to performance priorities and budget constraints that varied dramatically between individuals. Cruise speeds reaching 160 through 180 miles per hour with hot installations embarrassed certified aircraft, costing five times more while consuming similar fuel quantities proving that aerodynamic efficiency mattered more than raw thrust when designers prioritized drag reduction over brute force approaches that dominated conventional thinking about how aircraft achieved speed. Stall speeds settling around 50 through 55 miles per hour provided adequate margins for pilots possessing solid fundamental skills, though unforgiving characteristics demanded precise technique that casual pilots found challenging during crosswind operations and short field approaches that forgiving designs tolerated through excess wing area and drag that speed priorities couldn't accept without compromising primary mission performance. Takeoff distances consuming 700 through 1,000 feet enabled operations for most general aviation airports while eliminating grass strip accessibility that short takeoff and landing designs prioritized over velocity. The KR philosophy proved that speed per dollar remained achievable when builders accepted construction complexity and precise technique requirements. Yet speed represented merely one priority. Other builders valued aggressive aesthetics and aerobatic capability seeking aircraft that looked fast, even sitting motionless on ramps, sport performance. Aviation synthesized decades of home-built evolution when they created hybrid construction, merging composite forward fuselage reinforcements with 2024T3 and 6061T six metal surfaces, delivering single-seat sport aircraft rated plus six minus 3G that satisfied aerobatic ambitions while maintaining cross-country capability. The SPA Panther, available in standard kits, quick build variants and factory assist programs demonstrated that manufacturers could offer flexibility matching diverse builder skill levels and available time rather than forcing single approach. Maximum takeoff weights reaching 1150 through 1200 pounds enabled full fuel and baggage loads that weekend trips demanded without weight and balanced gymnastics. Lycoming O235, O290 and O320 engines spanning 115 through 160 horsepower along with Corvair conversions producing 100 through 120 horsepower, provided power plant flexibility that builders matched to performance priorities. Cruise speeds reaching 160 through 190 miles per hour satisfied cross-country ambitions, while stall characteristics settling around 48 through 55 miles per hour provided adequate margins for pilots possessing solid fundamental skills. Construction consuming 900 through 1100 hours from standard kits, reducing significantly with quick build options, created accessibility that working professionals completed within reasonable timeframes. 10 designs prove that choosing appropriate projects transforms garage spaces into aircraft factories when dedication meets realistic planning. Which construction method resonates with your skills and available time? Smash that like button and tell us your choice. Drop comments sharing which mini aircraft inspires your building dreams most. Hit subscribe so you never miss home-built content revealing what's actually achievable in residential garages. Share this with builders who need realistic project guidance. Watch the videos appearing on your screen and continue with us. Bye-bye.